The Rose That Grew From Concrete. We all know that story. A common tragedy with a likable hero that finds glory. But no one speaks of the rose that grew behind the garden shed. He heard the gunshots. He felt the ground shake. Even when every petal one touched, he always knew what it takes. He felt sacrifice, even with his unique experiences. The garden shed may have protected him, but it limited his photosynthesis. That's why he struggles to bloom. And that's why that image that he has of himself is a misconception and it spells doom. Maybe it's time that he learns to embrace the lack of warmth and embrace the darkness and become a black bakata. They stand about five to six feet, just tall enough to look over that garden shed and take a peek above the horizon and get rid of the mystery. Or maybe by that point, he'll crumble under his own weight, giving into his own insecurity. At what point does the pressure become too great? At what point can he not live up to the stakes? At what point does he have to accept the transient position? He's the flower after all. He's meant to die and wither and be done with it. He's not meant to be like the trees and stand the test of time. He's not as exuberant as the rose, so he'll never get the same amount of shine. And this is quite the dilemma, I must admit. The type of shit that will send you into a fucking fit However, there is beauty in our growing that garden shed, and I know because I did it.